So I drew the Lewis structures for you, so you might want to pause the video and draw the Lewis structures. So again, the molecule that has the the highest vapor pressure. So if you want a high, so a high vapor pressure would be the one with the weakest IMF, because the most um, the uh, more molecules are able to escape into the gas form when the intermolecular forces are weak. Because if there's weak intermolecular forces, more escape into the gas form. So, if we look at these, um, and again, I'm actually going to eliminate this one. This is not a good one. So let's eliminate I here, um, because that one actually is confusing. So, let's eliminate I out of one of the choices. It actually makes this, like, they would have to tell you something about I. So these two are nonpolar, so they have, they for sure have weak uh, intermolecular forces, okay? Um, but, and actually, let's eliminate this one as well, because that, see, the problem is that these are so big, and they would have to tell you that, because it, it, that these are so big, they have such strong London dispersion forces. Hey, these, from the, from the question, they have such strong London disper uh, dispersion forces, because they're huge molecules. I and B are so low, low down on the periodic table, and these molecules, this one and this one, are really small. So let's eliminate, eliminate them from the choices. Because that actually is going to confuse things, and the AP exam is not going to go into that much detail. So this one is nonpolar, so that means it has London dispersion forces. And nothing else, no hydrogen bonding, because it doesn't have a very electronegative element. And this one here is ammonia. It has London dispersion forces, because it has London dispersion forces. Okay, it also has dipole-dipole, because it's polar. And then it also has hydrogen bonding. Because it has H attached to a very electronegative element. So... Because of that, this one is going to, this one has stronger intermolecular forces. So this one's, this is this, this one, it's hard for this, it's hard for this one to escape into a gas. So this one is going to have a higher vapor pressure because it has weaker IMF. More molecules can escape into the gas. These I shouldn't have put there. They actually, they're vapor, they're, this is actually a solid. So, um... So it's vapor pressure is like non-existent. <laughs> and then um this is a liquid. Um this is a gas and this is a um so these have such strong London dispersion forces because they're such big molecules. The AP exam wouldn't do that to you though. So they might give you their melting points and say, well, even though this is a you know has London dispersion um and it's nonpolar, why would it, you know, be a solid, even though this has hydrogen bonding, and it's because this molecule is so big in size, iodine is such a big atom, um, and there's two of them bonded together, that it's, it's London dispersion forces are so strong that they actually over, overcome hydrogen bonding here. But again, the AP exam wouldn't ask you to just like multiple choice, they would tell you that I is a solid and ammonia is a gas, and what could be the possible reason for that, even though this has hydrogen bonding. And our last summary slide! All right, so again, that's a lot of material, and uh, I think in the schedule we're going to do some practice questions on intermolecular forces. I think it's Monday that we're doing um, practice questions on intermolecular forces, because that would be the end of the bonding unit. Um, so if the molecule is the same size, this is how you, if you're trying to judge strength of intermolecular forces, if the molecule is the same size, okay, you're going to look for the polarity and look for hydrogen bonding, okay? So the more polar the substance is, or if it has a lot of hydrogen bonding, the stronger the intermolecular force. Now, if the molecules are different in size, okay, like if one molecule is huge, okay, the larger molecule will have a have greater intermolecular forces due to very, very strong London dispersion forces. Because molecules that are large have a larger electron cloud. And therefore, um, there, it's more polariz polarizable. So if you, if you have molecules of the same size, look for polarity and hydrogen bonding. If the choices are between a really big molecule and a really small molecule, the bigger molecule is going to have such strong London dispersion forces 
um, that its intermolecular forces are going to be really, really strong. And again, we're going to practice this, um, I think, on Monday. And then again, once you have strong intermolecular forces, right, you have greater melting and freezing point because it's harder to separate the particles. Ugh. I hate PowerPoint when it does that. That should not, when you have a stylus, it should just like not go to the next slide. It's harder to separate the molecules. Um, but if you have a strong intermolecular force, you have a higher vapor pressure. Um, uh, I mean, a lower vapor pressure. I'm sorry, lower vapor pressure because it's easier for, um, uh, it's harder for molecules to escape into a gas. So just to summarize again, and then you're probably not gonna, and you should, this is the last slide you need to submit. So uh, last slide you should submit. Um, so again, if you have strong intermolecular forces, you have a, the molecule or the, the, you know, the molecule in a cup, whatever, would have a greater freezing point and melting point because it's harder to separate the molecules, but it would have a lower vapor pressure because it's harder for the molecules to escape into a gas. And again, we will practice um, some multiple choice and free response AP questions that deal with this, um, I think Monday after school.